Restaurants continue to struggle financially to get through this pandemic. And uh, after eight months of restrictions and lockdowns and uh, consumer confidence uh, uh, not being where it needs to be, uh, they are really desperate at this point in time to make it through this holiday and through to the end of the year. Um, I think many restaurants are hopeful that they can get to that point and they are hopeful that uh, by the beginning of next year, whether it be a vaccine or you know something else uh, comes into play that uh, gives them light at the end of the tunnel to return to uh, you know the, the normal that they used to have. Uh, many restaurants have exhausted their savings uh, and their reserves. Uh, federal funding has dried up. Uh, state funding is not really enough. Um, and from an employee standpoint, there are tens of thousands of employees that have been laid off and lost hours and not been able to work. So they're suffering just as much. Uh, and restaurants clearly are one of the most severely impacted industries here in America. So in Montgomery County alone, before COVID hit, there were 1,840 restaurants in the county. And if we think about losing 40% of those, that's over 700 restaurants that could be lost. And uh, you know, think about all the employees that are tied to that. So it's really a staggering number and we should be doing everything we can to support restaurants and to help them get through this crisis because our communities can't afford to lose such high numbers of restaurants. We have learned that there are really three legs to the stool that restaurants have been relying on uh, to get to this point. And that is outdoor dining, indoor dining and carry out. But the weather has uh, definitely made a uh, turn for the worse. Outdoor dining is not really a viable option for many restaurants. And let's not forget that many restaurants didn't have access uh, to uh, accommodate outdoor dining because of their location or other, other factors. So uh, now that we're left with, just, with uh, only indoor dining and carry out and indoor dining being severely restricted, it just, it just really accentuates the problem that restaurants are going to have, that they're just not gonna be able to generate the revenue necessary to uh, be able to survive if this continues on for much longer. We do get the sense that early on in the pandemic, people were, uh, they were going to take out a lot more often. Uh, but gradually over time, and especially over the summer months when people could go outdoors and had things to do, we saw the takeout decline. And uh, right now it's kind of in the same situation. This is the, the COVID fatigue that is talked about is really out there and it's affecting all of us. And uh, that's why over the Thanksgiving holiday, we're trying to remind people that restaurants really need your support. And even if it is just getting a takeout Thanksgiving meal for four people, that goes a long way in helping a restaurant uh, get through this. And it may be something that you don't normally do. Uh, I think we all may be used to having family gatherings and friends with lots of people at, at our homes or going to someone else's home. But we may uh, be in a situation this year where there's only four or six of us dining at home. And uh, you know, restaurants would like people to think about them as an option. Why do all the cooking and cleaning when you can really just go to your favorite local restaurant, find out their Thanksgiving specials, and you know, help support them by just getting a takeout meal. That will go a long way. And I think it's a good reminder to all of us that restaurants are still there, still struggling and still trying to get by. And anything we can do uh, over the holidays to support them is going to help out tremendously. We need to remind everyone that although restaurants are part of the contact tracing questions, there is no direct correlation between people getting COVID in restaurants. Uh, retail operations are on that list, going to work outside of the home, uh, places of worship, they all show up on contact tracing, but restaurants generally are always mentioned in the media as a source of uh, COVID spread. And there's just no uh, evidence to support that. So we need to remind ourselves that restaurants take the safety protocols that are asked of them very seriously, because they want their customers and their employees to remain safe because a business can operate when they're closed. So restaurants are really going above and beyond. And even though there may be the few bad apples out there that are 
uh, making it uh, bad for the rest of us, that is the very, very small minority.